today I'm going to show you how to change an existing text box into columns and how to add images to it with text wrapping. Here's the text we will be working with today. I pulled it from ecomain.org for reference. With the text box selected, go to Object and Text Frame Options. Make sure you have Preview selected, that is very helpful. And up here at the number of columns, I'm going to increase by two. Take a look at this space here. It's kind of tight. We call that the gutter. Over here is where you can adjust the gutter. So I want to take that up some, 0.375. Let's go with that. Then click OK. Now let's add an image. Let's go to File and Place. I will select this Recycle Graphic, Open, and my cursor is loaded. I will draw a box around the size I think I'm going to want the image to be. Let's go open text wrap. It's right here. I have the typography workspace open, so if you don't see it, you can also go get it from the window drop down. Text wrap. This little window will open up. Make sure you have your image selected. Choose wrap around object shape. And then it's important to come down here to type and select subject. What you should see are all these little this pathways and anchor points. The image I brought in did not have a transparent background. It had a white background. After it selects the subject, you might notice that it automatically brought you down to the direct selection tool. We need to go back up to the regular selection tool. I will click outside of the document to deselect, then I reselect. Once it's selected in this manner, I can send the graphic to the back because right now you're thinking, well, what did it do? I'll show you. Two ways to do that. Object, arrange, send to back. So it did text wrap. You just couldn't see it until we sent it behind the text. Another way to send it to the back is to do that through your layers panel. If this isn't open, you just click this little arrow. Here's my graphic. I can drag it right below the text. And that's another way to do it. It's pretty handy. There's one more thing we need to do. The text is awful tight to the edges. Let's open text wrap again. Make sure your image is selected. And let's adjust this area right here. It's called top offset, really. It's the padding around the subject it's selected. So as you increase it, you'll see the padding increase. Maybe I'll go with 0.1875 and then I will close the text wrap. And there we go. 